Hey guys, recently someone asked me, what was the most common thing holding people back from being successful? And I had to think about it, but it's fear. Fear holds a lot of people back from even trying. And so what we're gonna do today is I'm going to address the three most common fears that hold people back from achieving their dreams and how to overcome those fears, all right? So get something to take notes with, and let's get started. <laughs> He comes on hard but nice. He's sincere, he is humble, and he is a powerhouse. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage. Hey guys, what's up? So I was out in Aruba not long ago. Beautiful island, by the way. If you haven't been, I'd recommend it. So I was out in Aruba. I had, I had thrown an event for um, some leaders and uh, we were out there for about a week and a half. It was fun. We rented a mansion on the island, private chef. Um, you know, went skydiving. That's a whole other story. So I went skydiving. Um, we had ATV excursions all over the island, VIP at their hottest club, dinner on the beach. Um, it, anyway, if you ever come to one of my events uh, or any sort of a mastermind, just understand it'll be first class. So we had fun. Uh, and I was out there and I was hanging out with my videographer, Corey Williams, and he asked me a question that merited some serious thought. He asked me, he said, Austin, what do you think is the most common reason for failure in network marketing? What do you think is holding people back from being successful? Um, and so, you know, that, that merited some thought, right? I had, I had to think about it for a second. Um, and I told him, I said, you know, obviously it's fear. Fear is, holding, you know, is what holds people back from being successful, whether it's one fear or another. I said, but let me think about this and, um, you know, we'll, we'll talk about this later because this, you know, this could help some people to uh, figure this out and address it. So that's what we're going to do today, guys, is uh, I'm going to address these three fears with you and then I'm going to give you the keys on how to overcome these three fears, okay? And it's, it's important to realize that whenever you, whenever you understand the truth behind a fear, it takes all the power away from the fear. And I'll give you a great example is I used to be afraid of flying. It's the, most, the safest way to uh, travel, period, right? So obviously it's nothing worth being afraid about. So uh, now I'm, I'm not afraid of flying at all. Okay, but I used to be very afraid of flying. But whenever you can understand the truth about your fear, it just takes all the power away from the fear. Anyway, I'm gonna give you some truths, okay, and we're going to address the three uh, most common things holding people back uh, from being successful. It's all fear, okay? So write this down if you're taking notes, uh, which you hopefully are. Uh, write this down, very important. The emotions are not subject to reason. They are, however, subject to action, okay? The emotions are not subject to reason. They are, however, subject to action. What I mean by that is you're not going to think your way out of an emotion, all right? You're not gonna think your way out of being afraid, all right? So you have to take action, all right? And so I'm gonna show you exactly how to, how to do all of this and uh, we're gonna give you something that empowers you, okay? So. Uh, the first fear we're going to address is the fear of change, okay? Uh, it's important to realize the truth. The truth is that change is inevitable and constant. It's happening right now. Growth is, however, optional, okay? And when you realize that the change was put in your life as an opportunity for growth, then it's nothing to be afraid of. In fact, you can be excited about that. Uh, whenever there's a change in your life, no matter what it is, that is an opportunity for growth. And so when you realize this, you relate change with fun. So change is fun, change is good. It's meant to, uh, you know, for the betterment of your life. It's meant to help you be the very best version of you. So, um, you know, change is, is a good thing, okay? Uh, the second fear we're gonna talk about is the fear of ridicule. With this, it's important to understand the truth. So, uh, the person doing the ridiculing has noticed a flaw that they have in someone else that that person has overcome, 
okay? So this person's sitting here thinking, or consciously or unconsciously, that you know there's this flaw in them and this person over here has overcome it or they're in danger of overcoming it and making this person feel smaller, right? And so when you realize that, you know, then don't be upset with the person doing the ridiculing and don't fear them, okay? Because you know, you're and you're doing better than them, or at least attempting to do better than them, all right, in, in some way. So realize that you're strong in a way that they are weak, and so they ridicule you, all right? And um, they should be giving you a compliment, right? You know, hey, good job, you know, but they're not, and they're not gonna for a while. Here's how you handle that, is one, realize that truth, and two, stay the course, Matter of fact, turn up the heat, you know, just stay the course. And when you do, it's amazing because 99 times out of 100, that person doing the ridiculing, they come around and they end up congratulating you. And man, that feels so good. It's happened with me, you know. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna get uh, too personal, but I will tell you, I had a family member that they wouldn't even let me hang out with their son whenever I first got started in the network marketing profession. It wasn't, made, it wasn't until I had made millions and millions of dollars, you know, retired my mom from a six-figure career, helped a lot of people, I mean, just done all sorts of crazy stuff. It wasn't until then that they came around. I mean, it darn near took, you know, carving them a statue out of marble myself. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, that would have probably been easier. But uh, anyway, so that feels amazing. Whenever you persevere and that person comes around. And it happens more times than not. The last fear, which I think is probably the most common, or it's definitely one of the most, one of the three most common, obviously, but I think it's one of the most common, um, more than anyone, is is the fear of failure. The fear of failure actually prevents people from being successful because a lot of people don't even try, and that's how it prevents them from being successful. So. It's important to realize this, and you can write this down because it's wildly important for you to, to understand, um, is that uh, success is just a series of corrected failures. Success is just a series of corrected failures. It really is. I mean, success is just a series of corrected failures. I can think of like hundreds of failures off the top of my head that I've had, but you gotta understand that it's only a failure when you accept it as such. You know, I either win or I learn, one or the other, okay? So don't be afraid of failing. Instead, be afraid of not trying and that nagging phrase, what if? That phrase, I mean, that'll take you out of the game. You know, you look back on a long life and what if? How many times right now can you think, what if I had done this? Where would I be at if I had done that? You know, so, um, you know, don't, don't be afraid of failure. Be, be afraid of not trying. And that nagging phrase, what if? You know, understand that you're always going to have challenges, issues, and setbacks. I have, you will, they did, everyone does, okay? Um, that's to be expected. And the more successful you want to be, the more challenges, issues, setbacks, and roadblocks you're gonna have to overcome, okay? But understand, <clears throat> everybody that went down that path had to overcome them too. And you can learn, you know, with me, sometimes I, I learn what best not to do uh, from other people, you know. Um, and I, uh, I was once told a really important quote that I think you should write this down too because it's, um, it's, it's a really good quote. It was given to me by a good friend of mine, Christopher Hussey. So uh, Chris is an amazing, amazing gentleman also. So uh, Christopher, one time, he, uh, he said on stage, he said, the quickest and easiest path to success is directly through the experience of others, which is so true. You know, I mean, think of it as a jungle that we're walking through and they're going first. They get to make all the mistakes. They get to, you know, get bit in the face by a snake or whatever the case may be. We're going through the jungle. They're blazing the trail. Well, the quickest and easiest path is directly through the experience of others. So, just so true. Anyway, so uh, I want you to take these three, uh, these three fears uh, and how to overcome them and not just listen to this video. Take note, understand it, and apply it because it will just absolutely change your, uh, your entire life. It'll make it so much uh, more stress-free, you know, so much more enjoyable. 
and um, you know, go ahead and, and realize that if you want to be successful, if you really do want the things that you say you want in life, if you want to achieve your dreams, then you're gonna have to address these fears, not through talking about it, <clears throat> but through being about it, through action. Take action, have fun. I look forward to hearing your testimonials.